Justin, did that feel like playing Salina last year? Yeah, a little bit, man. You know, a little, you know, I was really hot out there. Uh, it felt good, you know. My teammates were feeding me really well. And, uh, you know, when we run that four out, one in look, you know, with Caleb inside, too, you know, teams are always coming to double them. It really opens the floor up, you know, for, you know, open shots, you know, open driving lanes and things like that. So it was good. We've talked to you a lot the last couple of days about the, getting, making the most of your opportunity. What did it feel like in a game like this when the shots just keep falling? Yeah, honestly, you know, that's great. But, like, I'm really, we're really just focused on punching our ticket to the tournament. And that's really, that's all on our, all, oh, it's really, it's all on our mind right now. Um, we're really focused on that. We're focused on getting uh, better day by day. And, you know, we're excited for it. So, got to keep working. When you talk about punching your ticket to the tournament, has that been like a constant discussion or has that been constantly in the back of your guys' mind knowing that you guys have to, what you guys uh, have to do? Yeah, we don't really talk about it much, but you know, like we, like in the locker room, we all know how bad, like we want to be there, you know, if you don't make the tournament, you know, it's kind of, you know, it's kind of a bummer, you know, it's not like a, ba a bad season for you, but then again, it's not what you expect. It's not like what you want to experience in, in, in college basketball. So, yeah. Caleb, what, what was it like seeing Justin go off in the second half? Your Boy had thirty. Okay, <laughs> he just man, it was just great. You know, you see him putting up extra shots after after every practice. You know, you just see it pay off. It's just great to see that kind of stuff. Justin, Coach Holdman had talked about last week. Just the way you were acting on the bench was why he put you in the game. Had had none of these shots been coming in practice, was that really the case that you just cheered to get his attention? Uh, it could be something like that, but I, I, don't, I don't know. I'm kind of active fool on the bench when I'm out there, you know. I like, you know, bringing energy to the floor. And I think that's something special about our group, you know. As you saw tonight, everybody, you know, the whole team was going crazy. And, you know, it's just something you, you really want in a team, you know. It makes it that much more fun. So, you know, it's great. Just were you surprised at how open you were all day, all night long? Uh. To be honest, tonight I didn't really see him out there. You know, if I if I got the ball, it looked like when I got hot, it was going up. But you know, I haven't really played all year, so they probably didn't have the scouting report. You know, so uh, regardless, you know, I'm gonna keep working and I'm, I'm gonna keep doing what I can do to help this team win. And then the first half looked like passing into the post was great. Second half passing out of the post was great. But Caleb, do you think this is the best passing performance for the team this year, or was it up there for you? Yeah, we only had uh, we had eleven turnovers. Yeah, we had 11 turnovers, but still, yeah, I feel like we, we it's better than 21. We had 21 turnovers before, so I feel like we're going, we're going in the right direction. Caleb, obviously he had 29 points tonight, which is, is the story of the night, but you filled up the stat sheet on your own. How much, when he's shooting like that, how much did that help you down low and kind of free you up to do some things? Yeah, it's easy. You know, these guys hitting shots like that, they can't come down on me as much, and they got to go out there. So when they come down, I'm passing it out, and they're hitting wide open shots. It's just good mix for good basketball. You feel like you're catching a little bit of a groove yourself down low, 18 points, 11 rebounds. Do you feel like you caught a little bit of a groove yourself just based off of what they were doing outside on the perimeter? Yeah, like I said, it makes for easy basketball. You know, they're hitting shots. That means I'm playing one-on-one -on -one basketball in the post. Justin, you came here as a shooter, so we knew that, that these nights would come at some point, but... Coach Holtman's talked about, you know, you have to not let yourself get down when, when those shots aren't going in. You have to do other things. What is it that you've been able to do to, I, I know Austin asked about the stuff on the bench, but to, to attract his attention, what other stuff have you worked on to finally get the shot to take those shots? Uh, yeah, you know, just being, you know, bringing it every day in practice. You know, he always uh, emphasizes how, you know, like take the season day by day, you know, and our results are going to be what, what, what we want them to be, you know. Uh, you gotta, you know, you gotta come and punch your ticket every day. You know, you gotta work, you gotta work hard in practice. You know, you gotta take care of your body and things like that. And then when it's game time, you know, practice makes perfect, so you're ready to go. Um, but yeah, we st we definitely got a lot of work to do. But you know, it's it's a process. Um, Caleb, you had three steals. I think CJ had two. Um, it just seemed like you guys were really active, sort of getting your hands when guys were trying to get to the rim. And I know the offense sticks out, and the way Justin shot sticks out too. But Defensively, what did you think of your performance, and, and particularly maybe what what you thought CJ did, kind of bothering Bohannon? Yeah, like like you said, I thought we were really active on defense, had our hands out, and we played solid defense. Um, we got some calls, but you know you just got to take it possession by possession. And I know um, you guys have been sort of itching to get a win like this, and the Big Ten slate has not gone maybe how you've wanted it to on the whole. But to go through what you guys went through, that losing streak, some ups and downs to. At this point in the year, to put together a performance like this, just what does it say about your group that, you know, you, you could have maybe, you know, folded a little bit if you wanted to, and you guys seem to maybe play your best game of the year when you needed it the most? Um, just 
speaks to our resilience. You know, we taking it day by day, trying to get better every day, and I feel like it showed today. Uh, as for either player, uh, maybe even Caleb, uh, four and a half minutes left, Cook intercepts a pass. Looks like he's going in for a one minute <coughs> monster jam, and your brother just blocks it. How big of a play was that, and could you just talk about it? That was crazy. <laughs> that was crazy. I was, I was at half court, and I saw it, and I was like, you know, Coach always emphasizes, you know, move on to the next player. But really, when I saw that, I was like, like he just pinned it against the glass above, like right by the square. You know, that was a critical play in the game for us. I feel like, you know, it definitely, they could have got momentum off that leg, you know, and got another steal maybe. You never know. Um, that block, you know, for, uh, for stopping them to get that basket was big. more. Justin, it seemed like each three you made in the second half, you became, I guess, more and more confident, especially, you know, going back onto defense, like showing <laughs> kind of Iowa uh, what you just did with, like, your reactions and, like, and you saw the bench reacting. How quickly does it take for you to gain that confidence with your shot? You just see it going in. You see the bench cheering you on. How does that feel? How much confidence did you gain after that second half of play? Uh, you know, I always have a lot of confidence. I feel like uh, every shot I feel like, you know, it's something I've trained myself to do uh, since I was little was, you know, my dad always told me to, you know, when you miss shots, you got to move on. You know, you can't hang your head on it. And if, you if you make a bad play, you can't hang your head on it. You know, if you turn the ball over, you can't hang your head on it. you got to get back to the next play uh, and, you know, make something happen. So regardless, you know, I'm, I'm going to be confident. But, you know, definitely seeing my teammates, you know, hyping me up like that was crazy. It was awesome. And having that enthusiasm that you showed on the bench, kind of having an opportunity to have that same enthusiasm on the court, how did that kind of your momentum kind of establish the mood for the entire game? Yeah, you know, I feel like – the team's uh, energy on the bench really gave us a boost on the court, you know. They were talking to us on D when we were on that end, uh, on the defensive end, you know, calling off screens, calling off sets. Uh, everybody was engaged, you know. All, all Everybody on the team was engaged, and I, and I think that's really a big part of the reason why we won by how we did. Caleb, uh, this was the most points you guys had scored since Penn State. Like three weeks ago, you had 74 points in that game. You get 90 tonight. Just You guys have been scuffling 50, 60-point games. Just what does it mean, and, and what could it mean for you guys – not to say he's going to score 29 points every night, but if he can give you a solid 10 to 12 points from here on in, anything like that, a contribution, just what will it mean to get another score going for you guys? Oh, that's great. You know, everybody's jumping into their role. I feel really well. And tonight, I tell you, I tell you guys all the time, we have a lot of guys out here who can get 20. You know, we don't have a certain, a certain just go get 30 guy. So I feel like everybody's jumping in their roles and we're moving. What do you think this does for the psyche of this team, Caleb? I mean, you've been in the tournament last year, and you guys have been touch and go here since that losing streak. Just does this get you guys over some type of a psychological barrier, beating the you know, first win of a ranked team this year? No, oh, it's a it's a big it's a big thing, you know. Um, going into the tournament, you want big wins like this, and beating a ranked opponent, a good opponent like Iowa, there's no easy wins in the Big Ten, so it was a good win tonight.